In the realm of Greek mythology, the tale of Daedalus unfolds with all the drama and intrigue of ancient legend. Daedalus, a master craftsman of Athens, found himself drawn into the court of King Minos of Crete, who was famed for his power and influence. Pasiphae, the queen, had incurred the wrath of the gods. She found herself consumed by a forbidden passion for a bull. This was a curse from the sea god Poseidon himself as a result of the disobedience of King Minos. Desperate to fulfill her desires, Pasiphae turned to Daedalus for aid. With his cunning and expertise, Daedalus devised a plan to satisfy the queen's unnatural longing. He constructed a lifelike wooden cow that was so convincing in its likeness that even the most majestic of bulls could not resist its allure. Pasiphae concealed herself within this bizarre contraption and in a grotesque parody of nature's design, united with the bull in an act of unspeakable union. From this unholy union was born the Minotaur, a creature of monstrous proportions with the body of a man and the head of a bull. The king, seeking to contain the abomination, commissioned Daedalus to construct a labyrinth, a maze so intricate and confounding that none who entered could hope to find their way out. Daedalus poured his skill and ingenuity into the labyrinth's creation, crafting its winding paths and hidden chambers with meticulous care. Horrified by the abomination he had unwittingly helped bring into the world, Daedalus watched as the Minotaur was confined within the labyrinth, a prisoner of its monstrous nature. Years passed, and the Minotaur became a symbol of fear and dread throughout the land of Crete. Brave souls dared to venture into the labyrinth, hoping to slay the beast and claim glory and honor for themselves, but none succeeded. It seemed as though the Minotaur's reign of terror would never end. However, fate intervened in the form of Theseus, who was the prince of Athens. He was a hero destined to challenge the might of the Minotaur and defy the will of King Minos himself. Guided by the love of Ariadne, daughter of Minos, Theseus ventured into the labyrinth armed with nothing but his courage and a ball of golden thread, which was one of Daedalus's inventions, gifted to Ariadne. With Ariadne's thread to guide him, Theseus navigated the labyrinth's twisting passages until he stood face to face with the Minotaur itself. In a battle that would be sung of in songs for generations to come, Theseus faced down the monstrous creature and emerged victorious. He slayed the Minotaur and freed the land of Crete from its terror. But victory came at a cost. King Minos, enraged by the death of his prized monster, turned his wrath upon Daedalus, accusing him of treachery and betrayal. In a fit of vengeance, Minos imprisoned Daedalus and his young son, Icarus, within the very labyrinth they had created. Yet, even in the depths of despair, Daedalus refused to surrender to despair. Drawing upon his boundless creativity and ingenuity, he devised a daring plan for their escape. Using feathers and wax gathered from the creatures of the island, Daedalus fashioned wings for himself and his son, wings that would allow them to soar above the walls of their prison and flee to freedom. As they prepared to take flight, Daedalus warned Icarus of the dangers that lay ahead. Fly neither too low, lest the sea drag you down, nor too high, lest the sun melt your wings away, he cautioned. But Icarus, young and reckless, paid little heed to his father's words, caught up in the exhilaration of their impending escape. With a cry of joy, Icarus spread his wings and took to the sky, soaring ever higher on wings of wax and feather. For a time, it seemed as though their plan would succeed as they soared above the waves and the wind whispered in their ears. But then, tragedy struck. Ignoring his father's warnings, Echorus flew too close to the sun and the intense heat melted the wax that held his wings together. With a cry of despair, he tumbled from the sky and into the sea below. His dreams of freedom shattered in an instant. Heartbroken by the loss of his son, Daedalus continued on alone, his wings carrying him ever onward, until at last he found refuge in the distant land of Sicily. There, 
he would live out the rest of his days, haunted by the memory of Icarus and the folly that had led to his untimely demise. And so, the tale of Daedalus and Icarus passed into legend, a cautionary reminder of the dangers of hubris and the consequences of defying the will of the gods. But amidst the tragedy and despair, there remains a glimmer of hope, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit to overcome even the greatest of obstacles and soar to new heights.